See the game more clearly with extra view lenses from Norval Opticians with £50 off our exclusive freeform frames. We've seen some frustrating games, David, but that uh, must be the f most frustrating finish of the season. Yeah, look, it's another one that it's almost a question you've asked me a number of times over the course of the year. But for us tonight, you know, to win rugby matches, you've got to get the ball, you've got to keep hold of the ball and play a little bit. We showed some glimpses in that first half of, of the threat that we had, and then we just couldn't get the ball. We just spent the whole time defending, and the only reason we gave ourselves a chance to win the game was unbelievable defence, unbelievable courage, work rate, all those usual... Um, adjectives and we defended and kept a, a very dangerous Newcastle team and then to get the game going into the last 10 seconds with our scrum or just get the ball, get the ball in, get the ball out, we win the game and once again we failed to do that. Uh, it was frustrating that we failed to do that, we couldn't quite see why Gloucester should be accused of, of spinning a scrummage when the situation they were in. Oh, look, you can always, uh, I haven't seen it on the, on the video yet but certainly having had a scrum that probably a little bit of dominance throughout the course of the game um, to, to, to concede that penalty I think that was probably on our only scrum penalty of the night to concede that with that very last play is, is obviously hugely disappointing. Gloucester had worked very hard constructed a good game plan to get themselves back at even Stevens at half time you had to be very proud of the way they, they'd done that and built a game for themselves. As I said, the huge positive is the, the amount of tackles we made. I'm not sure what the possession stats were, but heavily in favour of um, of Newcastle. The two or three chances we took, um, we made a couple of breaks, as I said. Um, second half, we got ourselves into, into a good position, leading the game, and then it was a matter of trying to just hold on to the ball. I thought we were a bit unlucky with the yellow card. Um, Lloyd Evans trying to compete in the air, but I guess that was just on the back of um, what had been a pretty heavy penalty count against us. We had to uh, had to battle hard. You've talked about the defensive efforts, but uh, there were lots of positive things that came into that game to get them into position where you could have won it. Not only could we have, we, we, we should have. Um, there's no question we should have won the game, but again, we, we had some opportunities in the second half to try and create a little bit more pressure, give ourselves a, little, a few more scoring opportunities, and whether that was not, not winning the line out, dropping the ball, just simple mistakes that, you know, in this competition against teams and games that tight, you just can't make. More chops and changes maybe than you wanted to make through injuries that cropped up during the game? Yeah, that's probably the disappointing bit. It's hard to, to know at the minute, but two or three pretty serious injuries. Um, I think Willie Hines, um, Henry Purdy, um, and uh, but I'm trying to think of a couple of other, but we certainly picked up some pretty heavy knocks tonight for the first time in a long time. Yeah, and that's got to be as a disappointing aspect as losing the game because uh, the, the thing is, is that the team had come through some adversity, yellow card, and battled to the last stages of the game to look like what should have been a win. Yeah, like, uh, Andy, we, we've talked about it so many times throughout the course of the season. You can't fault that heart and character and the fight that's there, and, and they, they fought right to the end. But it's got to be more than that, you know. The team that we have, I've got to bring more than that to it to any game. And tonight, we didn't do that when we had the opportunities to to win the ball and keep the ball.